this is my real life story. So I'm married to John and we have two young boys called Joey and Isaiah and my story begins just after the birth of my first son and it was a time that was supposed to be a very happy time, um, a joyful time, but for me it wasn't. I had this new baby in my arms and I loved him, he was really cute, but there was this um, darkness over my life, like a heaviness in my heart as well, um, like a sadness and I found it really confusing. I didn't, I didn't know why I was feeling this way. It affected a lot of my life. Um, waking up in the morning, um, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't get out of bed. Um, I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to do anything really. Um, the only thing that I wanted to do was sit in a room in complete silence, but I had to carry on. I had a, a baby to look after. So the only way I could do these things was to pray. So I'm a Christian. I believe in God. I am in a relationship with Jesus and that's, that's how I did things. I had to pray to get strength from God to help me to get out of bed or help me to make a decision about what I wanted to eat for lunch or help me as I was um, struggling with just day-to-day -day life of having a new baby and being a new mum. It was, it was hard, it was, it was really difficult um, for me, for, also for my husband as well. It was, it was a hard time for all of us. And I also found comfort from reading the Bible at that time as well. And um, there was a verse in Revelation, so it's talking about heaven and, and there is a promise of heaven for those who believe in Jesus. And the verse says this, he will wipe away, so that's talking about Jesus. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain because the old order of things has gone away. And that, that was such a comfort to me. Um, most of my days as a new mum, most of my months as a new mum have been spent with me crying. So that promise of heaven where there'll be no more crying was just something I could hold on to. And I was trying to hide all these feelings of sadness and I think I kind of knew that I was going through depression but I didn't want to admit it and I didn't want to tell anybody about it. Um, but after probably about nine or ten months I decided actually I should probably talk to someone about it. So I spoke to my friend at church um, she was really helpful, um, she listened to me, um, which was great, and she prayed for me, and, um, and she also advised that I spoke to a doctor about it as well, and so I plucked up the courage to go to the doctor, and um, I was prescribed with postnatal depression, and that was quite hard to take at that time. I think I knew, but when somebody tells you it's, it's even harder. And um, she suggested to me that I go and have some counselling as well. So I found a Christian counsellor um, and, and that was quite key into my journey of, um, of getting better. Um, I continue to pray to God, I continue to read the Bible and and she was really good at pointing me to the truth that's in the Bible and the truth that God wanted me to know during that time. And gradually things got better. Um, I really started to enjoy my son and looking after him. A few years later, I got pregnant again and I was quite nervous actually because I thought I was gonna go through another time of depression, of sadness. Um, I didn't know how I was going to do it again. So me and my husband just continued to pray, asking God again for that strength each day. And he provided it. He helped me with my anxiousness as I was approaching the birth. 
and he showed me that he was a God who cared for me and he loved me and he helped me um, through that time. And I didn't go through a time of depression um, following Isaiah's birth and I, I don't understand why, I don't understand why it happened with Joey and not with Isaiah. But I do know that I learned a lot through the time of depression and I am thankful that I have been through that time. Um, it reminded me that I can't do things by myself. Um, the only way I got through that time of depression was just having God with me and remembering the promises in the Bible about Jesus and just walking with him each day um, and trusting in him for everything. And that's how I got through that time. And I know that God's with me on the bad days and the good days. And it's just, I, I just don't know how I would have done it without him. He is my strength. Um, he helps me in those times where I feel like I'm hopeless and in despair, he helps me. And I'm so thankful for that. And that is my real life story.